Hello, everyone, and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host, Sherry, and on today's Skincare Saturday, you asked for it. Well, I asked you what you wanted, and so... Since you told me, we're fucking doing it. Remember my video when I said you pick my skincare for 2022? A lot of you were very intrigued by the ancient black pine. <gasps> so guess what? I bought it. I bought it. It's in my hot little hands. We are testing cores and we are going to do a 28 day test to see if there's any validity to the ancient black pine. Can't nobody say I don't give the people what they want. Can't nobody say it. All right, so let's get to it. As you know, I already had the Coors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser on the Coors website. It is $26, 5.07 fluid ounces. Their website does say it is the best selling Mediterranean superfood cream cleanser formulated with pre and probiotic rich real Greek yogurt that leaves skin pure and nourished in one cleanse. The key benefits are that it removes makeup and I just so happen to have some makeup on today. So we will test that. Locks in hydration, deep cleans pores, tones complexion, and reduces redness. All in this little Greek yogurt bottle. Yay. So this is what we will be cleansing with morning and night. On top of this, we got some black pine products. The first one I'm kind of excited about. I have high hopes for this ancient black pine. And in case you don't remember, we'll go over what that key ingredient is here. This is the black pine 3D eye lift super serum. I know. On the website, it says your skin Lines, wrinkles, and loss of tightness. Their remedy, a potent eye lift serum that brings the elastic bounciness back to your skin, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, visibly firming and lifting skin. The key benefits, brings back the bounce, visibly firms, lifts, and tightens skin under eyes, smooths lines and wrinkles. And this one was not cheap. This is $59 and it is 0.51 fluid ounces. Next up, I have another very exciting product. It is the Black Pine Sculpt and Lift Serum, Elastilift 3D for firm and tighten. That's what this says. Your skin, deflated and lacking contour, visible lines and wrinkles. It's like, was I standing directly in front of them when they wrote this description? Because yes, cores, you got me. You got me to a T. Their remedy, a potent serum that lifts, firms, and reduces the appearance of wrinkles while redefining the facial contour for visibly youthful appearance. Brings the bounce back, visibly firms and lifts, smooths lines and wrinkles. And again, this sucker wasn't cheap either. This guy here is $65, 1.01 ounces. Yeah. So we're up to a small fortune with just a cleanser and two serums. And we've got one more thing that we will be testing during these 28 days. The Black Pine Bounce Firming Moisturizer. Your skin, lines, wrinkles, and dehydrated. Our remedy, a plumping and firming moisturizer that brings the bounce back to your skin, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and replenishing hydration. Key benefits, brings everything. Every one of these black pine things brings the bounce back. It smooths lines and wrinkles and restores plump hydration. And this black pine bounce firming moisturizer for 1.35 fluid ounces is $54. I know, right? It's not cheap, but I have high hopes for the black pine, and here's why. Now, for those of you that aren't in the know about the secret black pine, let me just break it down for you. Inspired, I, I can't make this up, it's right here on the website, inspired by prehistoric trees in I want to say Pindus, but I could be pronouncing that wrong. Northern Greece. Prehistoric Greek pines that survived through the Ice Age are able to thrive 
through the production of protein within itself that helps boost our skin's own natural collagen and elastin. We work closely with the Greek Forestry Association and extract the most potent part of the bark, allowing the pines to grow and flourish. This product is made through our full circle process, powered by Six Cores Labs. Step one is the soil lab, then we have the extraction lab, then we have the molecular lab, then the formulation lab, then the design lab, and then the recycle lab. There you go. Those are the six labs of cores, and those are the historic black pine trees in Greece. We have like $230 worth of products here, so we might as well get into it. And first, we gotta wash our face, and we gotta take the before pictures. We are going to be washing with the Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser. God damn, this writing is tiny. I gotta go, I gotta go back to the website, it has bigger print. Seriously, can anyone read that? I mean, if I took my contacts out, I could probably see it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm sure it's very self-explanatory. It is a cleanser, but you know, we like to follow the directions. We need to use everything as directed so that we can hope to see the results that they promise in the amount of time that they promise that we'll see them. So they do have a seen benefits section and for the cleanser, 100% said it made skin feel fresh, revitalized and smooth immediately after use. 100% saw more moisturized, healthy looking, glowing, dewy skin immediately after use. 97% saw a reduction in skin redness and improved skin texture immediately after use. So immediately after washing my face, we should see all of that. Gently massage a dime-sized amount of cream cleanser into damp skin on the face and neck two times daily, so morning and night, and rinse off with plenty of water. Okay, that's easy enough. All right, so my face is damp, it's dripping, and I have a white towel because I do have on makeup today. It did say that it would take off makeup. Oh, it's sealed for my protection. Ooh, let me see, what does that smell like? Does it smell like Greek yogurt? It's very light, whatever it is, whatever the scent. Now they said dime-sized. Dime-sized-ish. It does have a very like earthy kind of a scent. Not like mud and twigs or anything, but not floral. It's very, very faint. It's kind of fluffy actually. So let's rub it in. Get it all in there good. I've got like contour up in my forehead, in my hairline. I have mascara on. I have CC cream on, primer, eyeshadow. How's the mascara doing? Oh, I see it kind of balling up right there. Now I'm supposed to rinse with plenty of water and then we'll do the white tail dry test. Now I'm trying to get into my hairline because I feel like that's usually where I miss and the mat comes off on the white towel, which I don't think that's very fair. It's very nice. It smells very faint, nothing too overpowering. It's good. I'm gonna rinse it off with plenty of water and then we'll dry off. Okay, I'm rinsed. White towel, it's white. It's definitely white. Let's dry off. It's gotta be my hairline because I just wiped up into my hair and I think that's where all my like contour and stuff, that's not very fair. That's not very fair to the product, but let's see. Got a little bit there. Well, it's pretty sketchy if you ask me. They did say in one wash it would take our makeup off. However, look, look what's happening. And maybe I just didn't get around my hairline very well because I do like slather the contour into my hairline. I could say that it might be that, but I could also say that that's a lot of makeup on my white towel. <laughs> yeah. But I will say they are right. Instantly, right away, my face feels super fucking smooth. Like really nicely smooth. I don't know about hydrated, but it doesn't feel, you know how sometimes when you use a cleanser, it kind of feels like it sucks all the moisture out of your skin and your, your skin kind of feels tight. My skin doesn't feel tight at all. Fresh and smooth skin, agreed. A dewy glow. I don't necessarily know if I would say I have a dewy glow. I don't feel like I look dewy. I don't feel a glow at all. Reduced redness, I wouldn't say that I had a bunch of redness, so okay. So yeah, that's it for the cleanser. It's a cleanser, it worked just fine. Let me take the before pictures before we move on. You know the drill, we gotta figure out the order of operation. And I think with these remaining three products, it's pretty easy. Eye lift serum that I would say that we would put on our eyes first, follow up with Sculpt and Lift Serum, and then follow up with the moisturizer. But, let's not take my word for it, let's refer to the website. 
this does have seen benefits as well. And you're probably thinking, hey, earlier you said you were testing it for 28 days. Why'd you pick that random number? And this is why. For this 3D eye lift serum, 97% saw a lifted upper eye area after 28 days days. 94% saw reduced appearance of crow's feet wrinkles after 28 days. 94% saw reduced dark circles after 28 days. So that is why we are going to test this for 28 days. These are high percentages. It's not like 23%. These are in the upper 90s, mid to upper 90s. I want to be in the 97% and the 94% that saw that they had lifted upper eye area and a reduced appearance of crow's feet and wrinkles after 28 days. I want that, I want that so bad. Now, it says on this, gently apply with your ring finger one pump daily. Oh, I thought I would have to use this morning and night. We only have to use this in the night. So it's one pump daily for the eye lift serum to the entire eye area, including under eyes and eyelids. The Sculpt and Lift Serum, they do have a 28 day, but then the other two, 56 days. So yeah, it says 100% saw, and 100% is a lot of percent, 100% saw firmer, more lifted skin appearance after 56 days. Now, again, we're only testing this for 28 days, so we'll see. It does say 100% experienced an improvement in skin's texture and radiance after 28 days, and 90% saw a visibly reshaped facial contour after 56 days. So, yeah, we're still only testing it for 28 days. Oh, and then it says, good thing we checked, complete your routine, try another serum for your eyes, and then put on a moisturizer. So we are actually going to put this on first. After daily cleansing, apply to the face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Okay, let's do it. I'm assuming they mean morning and night because it says after daily cleansing and they told us to cleanse twice a day. So morning and night it is. So let's open it up. Oh my gosh. Do you see how ginormous this box is when I open it up? It's like a cavernous, cavernous hole, hole and that's what's inside. Did you really need a box this big? Really? Did we not think that maybe we could just have put it in a box like this? I'm just saying, Coors, just saying. Here it is. It is in a dark glass bottle. It has another language writing. It must be Greek. Anybody know that language writing? So I'm shaking it, don't know why, but let's undo it. It has a nice little dropper. Here it is here. Let's squirt it on out. Very ceramy, just like you would expect. Oh, is this what black bomb smells like? I don't want to say perfumey, but a little bit perfumey. You would almost want to say like, does it smell like Christmas? No, it smells nice. Outdoorsy, nice. Just like running through a field of flowers, but not florally. It's very light, a little bit stronger than the cleanser, but still very light. Yeah, I dig it. All right, I'm put, oh, I'm supposed to avoid my eye area. Oh my now that one dropper full is all I used and that seems it's kind of enough. It's going on pretty smooth and kind of ceramy at first, but now I feel we've got a little tackiness going on. Feel that? <laughs> Did you guys feel that? Yeah, I'm gonna press it in to the skin because I can't really rub it anymore because it's very tacky. Oh, it's getting more and more absorbed. I can tell because the tackiness is kind of going away. Good, love it. Sculpt, firm, do it, do your thing. Now we're on to the eye serum. 3D Lift Super Serum. Oh, there's a gold, is that a button? No, it's just decorative. This is plastic. Let's pull this off. Oh, dang. How am I supposed to get this out? Is that a button? That's definitely not a button at the bottom. This is liquid gold. I don't want it going everywhere. So it does say apply one full pump with your ring finger all around 360 around the eye. How do we get it out? What's the pumping action? Does this just go like, no? Okay, this definitely doesn't do anything. Oh wait, it turns, it clicks, it turns the other way. Oh wait, is that a lock and now it's a pump? Ah, uh, maybe. Something's happening, but nothing's happening. How do we do it? Definitely a pump action, but in the world. 
No, I'm gonna have to go take out my contacts because I can't read that. So let me go take out my contacts to see if we can read how to use this applicator because whatever I'm doing is not fucking working. Oh, so much easier to read. It better say something about it. Oh, it doesn't. How do you get the shit out of here? Am I supposed to hold it upright? <gasps> Okay, it just needed a minute. Pump up, pump up, pump up. Did you see the white right there? It just shot right up. I'm gonna do one full pump. That's all a pump does. That's all a pump gives you. This has a different smell, but still light, fresh, outdoorsy. I'm gonna evenly distribute. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do one pump per eye. We will find out. So we need to go tapa 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 all around, get it in the crow's feet, get it in the upper eyelid. I feel like it might be one pump per eye because that was very, 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 very little. So let me do another one and we'll equally distribute it and keep on a tapping. 360, oh yeah. One pump per eye is what I would say. Feels much better now. Everything is quite lovely to apply. Everything looking good and done with that. All right, and last up, we have our Bounce Firming Moisturizer. 100% soft, firmer skin after 28 days. 28 day test. Apply a nickel sized dollop of the firming moisturizer two times daily to the face and neck, avoiding the eye area. So we will be using the Cleanser Face Serum and the moisturizer morning and night for 28 days and we will be using the eye serum nightly for 28 days just so everybody's on the same page oh here is our moisturizer it's interesting this looks gray to me oh no it's not gray at all it's white a nickel size so nickel this is a smell we've smelled before you know what it smells like i'll tell you right now it smells like hotel bar soap the bar soaps that come in like a wrapper that's what it smells like light still fresh none of these products smell identical to each other at all but they all have a very nice fresh faint clean scent i dig it let's get it on so we got to see some action happening avoiding the eye area but getting into my 11s this feels lovely very lovely indeed so yeah that's it day one down 27 more days to go before we see the effects of the black pine the ancient prehistoric greek black pines. Do you guys have high hopes? Because I have high hopes. I'm actually pretty excited. But then there's that other part of me that doesn't want to get my hopes too high because if I'm let down, I'll be really, really sad. Oh, this, this moisturizer does feel very nice. I don't want to say greasy. You know how I don't like to use greasy because that sounds negative. Not as like, mm, as Charlotte Tilbury, but very close. It actually feels like it absorbs quicker into the skin, whereas I felt Charlotte took a little bit of time and I was a little bit more dewy looking after I applied that moisturizer. This is really nice. I dig it. So far, so good. Basically, we're just at a first impression sort of a situation, but I am very impressed from go. I do get that these aren't cheap, but so far the experience is lovely, but lovely is not going to cut the mustard in 28 days. So we better see some results. And you know, I will check in periodically so that you can look at this beautiful face and see if there's any progress. Okay, we just finished day 10. It is the morning of day 11 of our Coors Secret Black Pine Skincare. I got up, I washed my face, and I put on my Sculpt and Lift Serum and Bounce Firming Moisturizer. What do we think so far? We are not quite at the halfway point. We still have, what, like 17, 18 more days to go. There is something about this, and I don't know if I'm falling for, like, you know, the secret melon in the Alps of Switzerland that is undiscovered and never rots. I don't know if I'm falling for that same logic when it comes to this black pine stuff, but I will tell you what. I have the highest of hopes for these products. I don't know why. There is no reason why I should have high hopes for the product none whatsoever but I feel like every day I'm like this is gonna work this is going to work but at day 10 I just looked at myself in the mirror and I was like no <laughs> so I don't know but yeah 
I've been using the foaming cream cleanser. Now it is a makeup remover. Again, maybe when I wash my face, all of the grimy makeup goes into my hairline. And then when I rinse, there's still remnants of it there because every time I dry my face, my towel is a fucking shit show. It has makeup all over it. However, I do like this. I mean, it's nice. It smells wonderful. And I do feel like it cleanses my face. I was gonna say maybe I should do a double cleanse, but no, ain't nobody got time for that. I'll just wipe the makeup off on my towel. <laughs> But seriously, are you ready to be completely and 100% disgusted? This is my towel. This is the towel I have been using for the last 10 days. Yeah, that's bad news. I don't know, I don't know. Is there a specific way you're supposed, I'm not gonna get my entire head wet in order to rinse all of the remnants of grimy makeup off of my face, especially when um, I'm getting a little gray grow out like I am now. I make sure I get all the makeup like in there because I feel like it helps cover that gray. I am washing, but all of the sudsy makeup is like getting up in here. Like I said, I'm not gonna rinse my entire head and that is what is getting left on the towel when I go like that. That's my only explanation because once I'm done drying my face and my towel looks like a shit show, my face does seem really, really clean. And I think that's the way it is with all cleansers. Like, believe you me, this is not the first cleanser where my towel has looked like this. Every single cleanser that I have used, there's remnants of makeup on my towel. So I don't think that is any fault of this. I just think it's how I wash my face, how I wear my makeup, what have you. I'm not gonna take off minus points for this. It's really, I just think it's me. If anybody has any tips on how I should better wash my face, please leave them in the comments below because the struggle is real. I, I, I just don't know why. Like, I have to put this in the wash now. Like, I go through so many towels. So yeah, last 10 days, morning and night with the cleanser, my face feels lovely after I've washed it. And then I go in morning and night with the Sculpt and Lift Serum. I like this too, but again, do I like it because I am totally being a sucker and thinking that the black pine is like doing something? I have no idea. Now, this serum does claim to give us something in 28 days, but the majority of the claims are at the 56 day mark, I wanna say, but I do like it and I do feel that the combination of this with the Bounce Firming Moisturizer. It's gotta be doing something, right? Don't you think? I am right here. I can see through the darkness of the glass. So I feel pretty confident this part will last us the next 17, 18 days. No problem there. That's a plus. We don't need to be purchasing another round of this skincare before the testing period is over. So thank God, because this wasn't that cheap. Then every night I've been using the Black Pine Super Eye Serum. Now this does have a lot of claims for the 28 day mark, so we will see. Something I noticed that I didn't mention, and I don't really wanna squirt it out, but I will. When you squirt it out, I'll just do a little dab, and you guys probably won't even be able to tell anyways. Beauty guru. It's sparkly. It has little sparkles in it. Very pearl, opalescent-y. I don't know why it's sparkly, but I kinda dig that it's sparkly. It doesn't leave sparkliness on your face, but it's sparkly. Now, we only use this in the night. I do two jump, jump of the little plunger, tap, tap, tap between my fingers to even out the amount, and then I tap all around my eyes. Now, I will say, when I wake up in the morning, there are my eyes from like watering or you know just getting crusty eye boogers in your eyes, I do feel like this kind of does, I don't wanna say clump, but it's a little cakey and dried out. Like when I wake up, I have like crustiness like around here. I don't think it's a big deal. I just wanted to mention it. And also too, when I rub this around, sometimes my eyes are like, oh shit, you got that in your eyes. <laughs> so just be careful with that. Now I can't tell how much I've used in the last 10 nights because this is pitch black. You can't see through it at all. Since I only use it at night, I'm hoping it lasts the next 17, 18 days. And then finally, I finish up in the night with the moisturizing cream, and then I also use this in the morning on top of the serum. And I do like this too. I like it. It smells so nice. It's like a 
faint, like, I don't know, black pine smell, I guess. I have been dipping in hard in this one, especially in the night, I slather this shit on. But I'm pretty confident I'll have enough for the next 18 days. I feel like this is where all the magic is. I don't know why, but I just feel like it. Hopefully the combination of the serum and this moisturizing cream are gonna really boost the effects that we're supposed to see in the next 28 days. Cause like I said, I have high hopes for this one guys. And I know it doesn't look like it after 10 days. I feel like everything's the same. If not this morning, I look probably almost shittier than I looked 10 days ago. However, I'm still holding out hope. I just am envisioning me like maybe the next check-in, the finale of the 28th day, that we're gonna see something amazing and that I'm gonna react like I reacted with The Rock. We're gonna all be like shitting ourselves over this and you guys are all gonna run out and wanna buy it. That's what I'm picturing in my head. I don't know if that's gonna be true and I don't know why I'm picturing that either because to date, our track record has told us that nothing really works. <laughs> so I don't know why this would be any different, but I'm hoping that it is. Here we are at 10 days. Well, morning of the 11th day. So this is where we're at. We have like 17, 18 more days to go. And then yeah, we'll see. Does the Coors Black Pine do what it says it's gonna do? Fingers crossed. Okay, you guys, it has officially been 28 days of testing the Coors Black Pine face sculpting serum treatment situation. And are you ready? for the final reveal, because here it comes. Dun, 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 dun. Do you see a difference? Face is completely washed and I have taken the after pictures and I have scrutinized them alongside of the before pictures. I know we all know what this is supposed to do, but let's just review the secrets of the black pine from Greece. Just to refresh our memories a little bit, 100% saw firmer skin after 28 days. 100% said it made skin look and feel softer after 28 days. And 94% said it feels and looks as if the skin bounced back after 28 days. So, do I look firmer? I don't know about that. Does my skin feel softer? I mean, I guess, but it's not like my skin felt like sandpaper before. Did before my face look like a burlap sack and now it looks like satin? I don't really think so, but feel-wise, I feel softer, but whatevs. Does it look and feel as if my skin has bounced back? has bounced back from what is the question? Did it bounce back from what? It definitely doesn't feel firmer. Eyeballing it, it doesn't look any firmer than it did 28 days ago. So yeah. This little guy right here is $54 on the Coors website. Over the course of 28 mornings and nights, I went through a pretty darn good amount. I did like it. The smell is divine. And as far as a moisturizing cream is concerned, yeah, it's a pretty good moisturizing cream. Did it do what it said it would do in 28 days? I don't know. I'm hydrated and I'm softer. I don't know about bringing the bounce back. And as far as smoothing lines and wrinkles, I don't know about that either. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. This is damn near gone. Maybe there's like two more uses. For probably the last five days, I was unable to use the little dropper. It doesn't reach. So I had to just take the dropper out and pour an amount into my hand. Of course, maybe something you wanna work on. The end of the dropper is about right here. End of the product is down here. It doesn't touch. So be prepared if you do end up getting this. Towards the end of it, you're gonna be dumping it out in your hand and then like putting some back because a bunch dumped out all at one time. Now we know this Sculpt and Lift Serum didn't really promise too, too much in 28 days. However, it did promise something in 28 days. Again, it's gonna bring the balance back. Bring it back from where, Coors? Where? Where did the bounce go? The only 28-day improvement we should see is 
in our texture. So what do you guys think? How's that skin texture looking? Any better than 28 days ago? Now, if we were to use this for the full 56 days, we could possibly see firmer, more lifted skin appearance and a visibly reshaped facial contour. Now, I'll tell you what, there is no visibly reshaped facial contour here. Now, I know we only used it for 28 days, but I don't see any sort of a minute amount of reshaping happening here. My opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, I do not think in 28 more days that I would see any sort of visible reshaping. But that's just me. I could be wrong. Now, the Super Eye Serum is $59. You only do have to use this at nighttime and you only have to use a little tiny bit of it. I wish I could see through this to see how much I have used and it's really not even shaky, so you can't hear how much is left either. But the bounce is supposed to come back. It's supposed to visibly firm, lift, and tighten skin under the eyes and smooth lines and wrinkles. 97% saw a lifted upper eye area, so I'm assuming this is my upper eye area here. I don't think I fell in the 97%, you guys. I don't. I do maybe sorta think, look at my crow's feet here. Look at my crow's feet here. And we will compare the before and afters because I think that I have a little something to say about the crow's feet. I don't really think I had dark circles to begin with and I don't really have dark circles now. So I don't know. And then the cleanser was the cleanser. It does say that it's powered by Greek yogurt to deliver instant soothing super dose of probiotics to nourish skin. I mean, I like this cleanser. It's pretty inexpensive compared to the rest of the products we tested. I think we should compare the befores to the afters and take a nice long look at everything. Just take a really hard look when you get to the multi earring side. See what you think about the crow's feet in that area. What'd you think? Cause I'm gonna tell you what I thought. And guess what guys? I'm disappointed by the black pine. I really am. And the thing is, is like, I had such high hopes for this shit, man. Of course had me going. And there were nights where I was like rubbing the eye stuff around going, come on black pine. Come on, Black Pine. And after 28 days, I am not seeing what they said I would see. From the front of my face, looking at me head on, just like this, I feel like my before looks just like my after. My 11 looks the same, my smile lines look the same, my forehead lines, everything looks identical to me. The only difference I could note, and maybe I'm wrong, cause maybe I was grasping at straws just to try to find something. Only on the multi earring side, this, this one right here, this crow's foot, this crow's toe, and maybe this one, these two last ones looked a little bit less deep in my after than they did in my before. I think, I think, but you guys correct me if I'm wrong. All of these motherfuckers look exactly the same. So out of the deal, I got maybe one lighter, less deep crow's foot after 28 days. Ugh, I just can't, I just can't, you guys. What a fucking letdown, what a letdown. Maybe my skin texture is better, maybe. But I don't know, I feel like the texture of my skin looks the same, exactly the goddamn same. Maybe I look a little more hydrated. Maybe my skin does feel a little bit softer. But guess what? I didn't spend, what, 60, 120, 170, damn near 200 bucks to have possibly softer skin and possibly a more radiant complexion and possibly better skin texture. I spent $200 on the secret Greek ancient black pines because I wanted less wrinkles. I wanted less deep wrinkles. Visible changes in my lines and wrinkles. And guess what?
I didn't get it. I'm super bummed about it, man. I'm gonna tell you, I am really, really bummed out. We should have known, man. We should have known. You know when they say like something, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I mean, come on. Prehistoric Greek pines that survived through the ice age that helps boost our skin's own natural collagen and elastin? How could you not think it would work? I really thought it would work. But the proof is in the pudding. It's been 28 days and I don't think that we saw enough to justify spending $200 on four cores products. And I'm really sad to say it because as far as everything is concerned, moisturizer, lovely, smells, fabulous, packaging, great. The serum, I loved putting it on, smell, divine. I do like the cleanser. I don't care. I know it's expensive, $26, but it is lasting quite a bit. Something about the Greek yogurt. It was nice. I liked it. I really enjoyed the cleanser. The eye serum. The sad thing is, is I kind of felt right away that this wasn't doing anything. But then I also feel like it's the only thing that maybe got like a little bit less deep of one of the crow's feet. Individually, the products were nice to use. The packaging's great. Like I said, the smell's amazing. <sighs> It. It's a no for me, dog, and I'm real sad about it. I mean, what do you guys think? There's many, 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 many times where I'm like, I don't see shit. Fuck this skincare brand. And then I read the comments and you guys are like, no, I definitely see a difference. You guys do that to me all the time. And I really went into looking at these before and afters. I was hopeful. I was looking at it with like hopeful eyes and I really didn't see much. But you guys let me know if you saw anything and if you think that you might give Cores a try based on our 28 day test. Because if I were watching me, I don't think I would spend $200 on this to try for 28 days to get these sort of results. Now, again, disclaimer, just because it didn't work for me or just because I didn't see the results that they claimed that I would see in the amount of time that they said that I would see it, doesn't mean that you won't. If you do want to give it a try, the website is offering like a 15% off. Put your email in one of those deals. I didn't get anything on sale. I paid full price for everything minus this because I did get this in an Ipsy box, but I still pay for my Ipsy boxes. If you were going to try anything from Coors, I really do like the cleanser. I really do. And I really liked the moisturizer. I just wish they would have done what they said they were gonna do. Bummer, man. But again, let me know in the comments what you think and let me know if you feel like I'm missing something. Did the bounce come back and am I just not aware of it? Let me know in the comments below. But we had to test it. You know, we were all curious about the goddamn black pine and now we know it's just like the Cindy Crawford melon. So. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.